You're watching Suck Professor. Hello, everybody. It's me, Hank. Welcome to Fallout 4 playthrough here on Suck Professor. Thanks for liking and subscribing. I'm so glad you're here. That's really great. Anyway, let's get past the uh, inauthentic bullshit. Get on to the gaming. So, big news. Look at this. You're seeing widescreen. This is exciting. Holy shit. What do you think? Is it horrible? I have no idea. I, it looks amazing here at the computer I'm looking at, but you're watching on a YouTube screen, and I don't know if it's good or bad for the experience. I think it is, actually. I was skeptical when I first... Uh, so, a, a quick backstory. I won this big-ass monitor from a video contest that I entered this year, here, 2015, and somehow I magically fucking won, and they sent it, and it's here, and I hooked it up, and it's freaking amazing. It's an LG. Yes, here I am giving the ad for it. That's which is the whole fucking point of them them doing this video thing and uh it's a lg 34 inch it's uh it's awesome it's great it's really great tiny flaw is backlight bleed but other than that it's incredible and i'm very very thrilled to have it so uh it 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 uh it's created some trouble here it, this has not been easy to me to get this video made right now <laughs> it's about two and a half hours of fucking around editing any files going into different folders and fucking around and blah 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 and um here let's just get outside and run around see so us run past the bomb yeah there's a bomb back there i knew about that one because i've been getting killed in this room over and over there's also a bottle cap bomb right there which i'm gonna avoid here but uh so uh hooking up and getting the resolution to look good on the monitor because for some crazy reason bethesda is stuck in the 1740s when it comes to uh, game support or for, for gaming in general <laughs> that's a very inaccurate statement they are they don't have native support for 21.9 monitors for these big curved monitors big widescreen monitors it's nuts it's not like these things are new these things have been around for two or three years they're still not quite uh reached uh it's going to be a while before they reach you know major market penetration to use a, a term from my business school days, which is, uh, I don't actually know if that's a term. The main term I used from those days is I fucking quit because fuck this business school shit. And, uh, but uh, it's a pain. So in order to get the, t the widescreen thing to work, you got to go in and do all this freaking editing. Luckily, there's a mod community that's working on it. And I managed to come across some good videos on the internet, uh, helping, you know, offering some tips because I'm definitely not the only person struggling with this. And I was able to finally get a mod installed that lets me edit the things and lets it look pretty decent. And you'll notice, sorry about the rambling, I hope this isn't super boring for you all. You might, some of you might just want to skip ahead. Uh, wow, that's pretty badass. It looks just like Neil deGrasse Tyson's ball. Um, he's my favorite dude, by the way, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Uh, the HUD, the graphics on screen, the HP, the, 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 the uh, compass at the bottom, the shit, you know, you know what I'm talking about, the HUD. If you don't know HUD, then you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> Unsubscribe. Um, the uh, it is a little stretched out. It's not quite so clear, but it's very clear in some of the menu screens. The left factor, or sorry, the, the horizontal factor is very stretched. Not very, but it's enough to be noticeable. And there's there's a, it's this weird glitchy box behind it stuff. And so, anyway, long story short, I finally got it to work. Uh, and uh, be in order to do so, I had to go into the modding. I had to jump into the modding pool. And um, I have uh, been avoiding that, not, uh, not for any real reasons. I just kind of wanted to play the game as is before messing with mods much. But because I started getting into the mod stuff, I downloaded a few mods. Um, fucking shit, why not? I've been meaning to for a while. I love the mods stuff. Uh, and let's, let's get it going. You know, there's a lot of... Uh, great mods on the way. I think the best ones are probably, you know, the game will really sh be incredible in like a year or something or six months or whatever when the really big texture mods come out and some other other mods come out. But the earlier ones um, are fixing some of the annoyances. One of them is the dialogue menu system, which we'll see if it's working, where instead of the four quadrant up, down, left, right bullshit vague answer I got a mod that gives you dialogue lines so you actually know what the guy's gonna say because I've seen that already where I'm like well is this is this a negative or a positive answer you know am I about to 
you know, piss this person off or say something funny that they're going to dig and it's going to, like, so that, that vagary, vagary, is that a word? Vagary? Vagrant? Vagueness. Um, is, uh, is gone now. I should be able to see what my character is going to say and be able to pick the option. Another one I have is this gun. Look at the gun. See the gun? No, you don't. It's pointed down. Before, actually, of course you do. It's right there. But before the gun was held up like this, the, okay, it went away. Like that the whole time. And so when you're running around, I didn't even really notice this was an issue until it was pointed out in the mod. I was like, oh yeah, it does make more sense. It's less immersive. The guy's not going to run around with the gun straight out. It's not that. It's not that. It's, it's this, uh, he does it occasionally. But it, it makes a lot more sense for the gun to be sort of aimed down a little bit. And then when I hit the right mouse button, it lift, he lifts it and aims it. And, and uh, you know, so it's sort of angled down. A little more realistic, I think. And I actually agree. This one I'm, I'm, I'm glad to have installed. Oh, fuck. I forgot. Okay, so this is the biggest annoyance with this stupid 21.9. This is why Bethesda needs to get their shit together and support this goddamn ratio. Because look at this. Do you see these? Ah, oh, come on. It's I, First of all, it could be stretched out properly this will get fixed with mods i'm very very confident of that but this is ridiculous come on man i got youtube listeners to keep happy here fucking bethesda all right you bitches you fucking cunts <laughs> uh that's not i don't i don't feel that way about them i'm thrilled with this uh, product that they've made for us but it is weird that they don't do this 21 9 thing it's like come on man especially a game like this you know, it's it's so immersive. The whole point. The whole, I mean, it seems like that's the whole deal here is to try to maximize immersion in this twenty one nine gaming. Um, I mean, uh, you know, I don't know if you can hear it, guys, but that sound is uh, the blood rushing into my penis. Okay, it sounds like Niagara Falls, if it was, you know, a a thin white tube dangling off a boring white man's genital area. <laughs> Uh, so I'm kind of like loving the fuck out of this and I don't know how I'll ever go back to gaming on a regular 16.9 So now I'm a spoiled little bitch. I feel like a billionaire's grandson. So here we go I've always been jealous of those fucked up billionaire grandsons, you know those those skeezy Black fingernailed assholes who live in rehab centers, you know, and they're cunty to everybody It's like god. What a great way to be what a great life. Those guys seem so fu I was like they have great cars, and they didn't even work for them at all. Um, all right, let's get into it, though. Uh, I'll probably, there was a couple other things I think I wanted to mention, but, uh, you know, give me some feedback on, on the aspect ratio, or how it looks on YouTube. It cuts off, uh, sorry, it doesn't cut off. You've got black bars in the top and the, and the, the, top and the bottom uh, letter boxes, which, by the way, here's a little fun filmmaker tip. If you have black bars on the right and the left on the sides, that's called pillar box. So yeah, you can whip that one out on your next first date and scare the chick away. Uh, so we're into it. All right, let's get back into the story. Let's uh, enough with this bullshit, right? I'm sure some of you are bored. Um, cool. All right, so I've gotten into the Starlight Drive-In, taken over. It was protected by. Mo oh fuck! 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 Ah, uh, uh, crap. Ugh! Even made all that bottle cap noise. Fuck! I knew it was there. Lunchbox. Well, that was uh, unfortunate. Oh, good. I can pick up some some money. <laughs> That's how grenades work. They make grenades out of dollar bills, and then uh, you get blown up. And oh shit! Now I'm crippled. My heart's beating. My dick's soft. No one will write me back on Reddit. <laughs> uh, let's see. Special. What am I going? Status here. Okay. So, oh, I'm crippled up the ass. Look, I got nubs, nubs. Well, well, this is even even my cane is a nub. Fuck. I kind of just want to restart the game, but I'm not gonna. Don't be a little bitch, Hank. Oh, I know. I can sleep. I think sleeping fixes this. Ugh. I can't believe I'm being so careless, so busy yammering on about my fun new toy. Oh boy. Ooh. Oh yeah. I'm sorry. I was already up here. Give me that pillow, bitch. Give me that dirty water, bitch. Give me that tactical hardened 10 millimeter pistol, bitch. Take it. Don't pick it up. All right. Let's get it down on this bed. Only the apocalypse you can be like okay with just like a bedding. Whoa. Oh, you see that little guy? How cute. And then he dies of an ear infection. 
You know, back in the 1800s when kids would just fucking dive, like, Daddy, I've got, I've got a headache. And he'd be like, fuck you. Go get back out to the, f oh, tuxedo. Go, go out to the farm. And then she, kid goes out to the farm and starts picking, you know, uh, what did they grow back then? Uh, poverty. Starts picking up poverty out of the ground and then, like, eh, eh, eh. And then the kid would just breathe heavy for like two weeks and then die of something. Uh, good thing we got it all figured out in our society, huh? Nobody dies unnecessarily at all, ever. Okay, cool. So, game plan, I'm on my mission to go to the Orvega fucking cons cons Jose Canseco assembly plant here. I'm still doing my, my, my mission here uh, for my friends at the big, at the Ten Pines, I almost said Big Pines, at the Ten Pines Bluff. Um... These raiders got something coming to them, and it's a widescreen monster, and that widescreen is me. Uh, so we sh we uh, have this area, and I think it'd be kind of cool. This seems like a decent, s I don't, don't want to say central, but I like that it's closer to build a big base. Because this whole thing is mine. Look. Where the hell is it? What the fuck? Come on. Jesus Christ. Uh, there it is. Hold down B. Give me the green walls. Yes. So I'm eventually going to come back and clear all this out and work on a base or something here. I think this seems like a good spot for that. So let's do it. Let's get moving. There's probably more stuff to loot, but whatever. I really want to explore. I want to get into some fights. I want to get into some cool scraps. You know, I want to find a drive through I want to find a Taco Bell. You know, it sucks when you go to McDonald's and the girl has great eyes and you don't want to pull away. You know, so you park your car and you lean out your window and you put your hands on your chin and you go, you got great eyes, baby. What's a pretty girl like you doing working at a, at a dump like this? Let's say we get out of here. Come on, jump in my Subaru. Let's, let's blow this joint. And then she, she smiles her bat and bats her eyes at you. And then the cops show up because she was tricking you because you were being a sex pervert, making her feel uncomfortable. That's what sucks. That's what really sucks. So. Okay, anyway. All right, good. Um, trying to get my bearings. It's been a few days. We Oh, fire. Fire is one of my favorite ways to die. Um, it's because it it's instantly feels bad for you. Like you hear about, oh, Billy died in, in a fire. You go, oh, fuck, man. Shit, that's a horrible way to go. But, you know, it's better than drowning. Oh, Billy died in drowning. Yeah, Billy's a little bitch. Fuck Billy. Falling asleep in the water. No, I'm just, I was kidding, because drowning is just pure panic until they will oh, we got a scale. Can I pick up the face? Can't, I can't do it. Oh, really? Come on, Bethesda. I'm going to see what's going on. There's tire fire. Oh, these are bad for the environment. You know what else is bad for the environment? Nuclear war. Uh-oh, I see something. I'm going to go knife on these guys because I'm trying to conserve my ammo and they are small flies. Although they will shoot me, so I probably should use some range here on them. But uh, let's get at it. Let's get. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We got a building. Oh, there's a whole thing going on over here. Is that cooking? Roasting stuff? Okay. All right, we'll come back. Well, you know, we got to look up here. Ah, shit! Fuck! Fuck! Ah, mother... Cock... Fucking... Ugh... Why was I so eager? Why... <laughs> I might have to go, go back to the bed and take another nap and heal myself. I went... One time I had, um... Uh, three out of my four limbs blown off, including my dick. And I went to the doctor and he goes, Here, just sleep on this dirty bed next to a skeleton and you'll be fine. <laughs> And he wrote me a prescription for sleeping on a dirty bed next to a skeleton, and I did. And I did it, and I was like, fuck yeah, dude. This doctor knows his shit. And that doctor's name? Phil. That's right. Aw, cutie. Wearing his pajamas. That's kind of lame that it just heals you. I guess if you get injured while you're on like a deep mission crawl, deep dungeon exploration, it make, you know, then you're fucked. Come on, skeleton. God damn it. I'm trying to move you. Uh oh. Alright, so let's uh let's go up to here. I wanna get the <laughs> I'm 
tried to leave and I came back. I'm so stupid. Um, I'm gonna go slow. Does sneaking do any good here? Well, I can't see above the stairs. I gotta jump. I could probably like cheese it by doing that. That's fine. I don't. Know. I wouldn't judge anybody for doing that. Ah, sweet oil. Yes. Adjustable wrench. Fuck yeah. Oh, tin can, baby. Okay, look out. Now I'm paranoid about getting my legs blown apart. Thinking about changing my name to Napoleon Blown Apart. <laughs> I can't believe I said that out loud. All right. Look at this. This is my first daylight. Not quite full daylight yet. But uh, holy crap, it looks good. This widescreen is pretty fucking impressive. Oh, back storage. I like it. I have back storage once. I keep pooping there. Uh, trying to take it. Yes. Casual outfit. I also have a mod which I have not activated, <clears throat> which uh, I'm probably going to. That enables you to use armor. The armor system in this game is a little, little wonky, where you uh, some clothing are like. Under Armors like Long John's or something or military outfit that I'm wearing now and uh, Some of them though when you like the suits and I might be explaining this a little wrong I'm, I don't have a full comprehension of the whole thing. What the fuck am I trying to hit the B button? What the hell's going on here? There it is um, That that you you can't put others like I can't put shoulder pads and chest pieces and harnesses on top of the suit, but the mod lets you do that because it makes sense. You should be able to do that. It, you know, why is this? Why is this military outfit capable of taking armor and stuff on the outside, but the, uh, you know, better not be any people in here. Unlock. Give me a break. I'm not gonna use this shit. But you know, so I might activate that eventually. I think that that makes sense. I'm gonna give it a little thought. Oh Jesus, I'm so horrible. Okay, B. All right, open. Did I use the lock or no? Is this the back lock area? Maybe? Hey, sweet. I've been shopping for a new crib. All right, man. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Empty milk bottles. Oh, bobby pins. Fuck yeah, baby. Um. Devil eggs. What's that on Potato crisps, Braxo cleaner. I always like to wake up to a nice summer shorts bobby pin. All right, why not? Um, ah, yes, this is just like my first apartment. Perfect. I had a grill inside. That's where I had my Lord of the Rings DVDs. That's where I cooked up my burgers. You know, secret ingredient to burgers. Ketchup. This is where I kept my beer, and my and this is where I had my St. Pauli girl poster, and this. Doorway here. That's where I uh, would leave. Uh, nobody came. Over. I was very lonely. It was pretty much an isolated nightmare. These are where I kept my lightsabers. I like yellow. I like. I always had two yellow lightsabers and one and three white ones. That's just how I did it. All right. Let's move it along here. Let's get into this. Okay. I'll unlock it. Okay, see at the bottom there, the novice lock, that's part of that HUD thing being fucked up. Pretty annoying, not gonna lie. Seems unnecessary. Nice. Nice. To be fair, Bethesda is a small indie developer. You know, they don't have the resources a big gaming company might have to uh, pay somebody to who might know how to fix that. You know, we gotta, we gotta keep in mind that Bethesda, they, they barely have the resources to keep the lights on there. You know, they've got to... They've got to hire a team of monkeys to ride bicycles to generate electricity for them. It's, it's so it's like I get it, I get it, you know. And you know these games, it's really their heart and their soul, you know. Could they actually? Maybe maybe we should start a Kickstarter. Two ball. What the fuck is two ball? Oh, this is all screwy too. A little. This is a little stretch. Yeah. See, I don't like this. The fuck is two ball? I, I mean. I, 
I had to I had pain in my dick once. So I had to go to a two ball doctor. <laughs> I never had pain in my dick. Um, it was near the dick. Okay. Sometimes you don't have a condom, and then you know. All right. Long, okay. Uh, inspect. Oh, okay. Cue ball for not cue pool ball. <laughs> This is all screwy too. This is not supposed to be so whacked out. Why is it taller than, shouldn't it be wider than? All right. I like it though. I still like it. I'm okay with it. I forgive. Shovel, not a weapon shovel. Let's clean up around here a little bit. So before I head out, I'm gonna run back to that workshop. I'm just looking for mines. I'm gonna run back to that workshop and uh, Duct tape, flip ladder, yeah, that stuff. For some reason, I'm looking for those, that, all that shit. Ball peen, tin can. Oh yeah, fusion core. That's the stuff. That's the real score here. Nuka Cola Quantum. Nice. Take a, take a broom. Oh, I hear something. Shit. Oh, motherfucker. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. All right. I used the same technique my Buddhist master taught me when... Oh! Floor lock. Expert. Locked tight. Locked tight. Okay. Hopefully I remember that that's there. All right. Let's always keep a clean house here, guys. We might have guests coming over, and you never know when you want to... You don't want to have to lock the door and scramble... Oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you stay right there, bitch. You ooze blood into the world. Um, desk fan. Dandy boy app. Oh, okay, I didn't see it. I'm carrying too much shit. Well, in that case, I'm just gonna head over. I know I can get back to my crafting. Although with this, if I just dump it into the food station, will it transfer to the workbench? I'm just going to dump it into the food station and see if I can. I'm pretty sure I can. Oops. Wrong button. Ah, wrong button again. Tab exit. No. Yeah, yes. Tab cancel. Oh, for God's sakes. What the hell's going on here? Okay. I got to lose this beret. I feel like an 80s video game character. What, did I do it again? Okay. Yes. Exit. Transfer. R. All right. Store all junk. Yeah. So this is the work. This should be what all that stuff I found for. Eventually, I know I can set up like uh, settlers. Let's check my inventory. Two hundred and sixty-five. So we're gonna dump off some of the outfits. Did it again? <laughs> Why would you watch this channel? I'm so stupid. Why would you? Okay. I'm just, I, what's, I'm reacting to thinking, oh my god, why would, who has the patience to watch a guy press the wrong button? What is this, lost? Um, alright, let's get rid of some of this stuff. Alright, store. Machete. I might as well carry that with me. These guys, uh, store, sure. Uh, hmm. Wait, store, three. I'll have five. I don't know why I think that's good. Piss hard and tactical. Or piss hard. Okay, piss pipe. Oh, okay. I mean, you can't really compare with this. Much better range than the tactical. Oh, wait, that's a pipe pistol. I, I do have I am keeping that one, actually. These revolver ones are pretty tough, aren't they? They're like big old hand cannons. Oh, I don't want to mess with it. Pipe wrench? Wait a minute. Oh, is this a weapon? Oh, cool. All right. Machete is 22, pipe wrench. Oh yeah, okay, look at here, I forgot to mention, I meant, I also have a, a, a uh, another mod. Value to weight. So it gives you an idea, it just does the quick math here, 30 divided by 2 for you. That's a common thing in the other games, I think, or at least I remember it in the other games. And uh, it's a good way to assess if you should take something or not, if worth holding on to. All right. Uh, get focused here. Uh, so yeah, these things are pretty badass, but I'll mess with that later. We'll get rid of the pipe pistol, pipe wrench. We don't want. That's my gun. That's my sniper. Um, 
probably should keep the shotgun with me. Short pipe bolt action. Get rid of that guy. Pipe revolver. Short. Okay, we got that one. Tactical hardened 10 millimeter. So which one do I have right now? I have a 22. Can I rename it this one? No, I cannot. So I wish it was easier to compare. So we got, let's see. 22, 46, 83, 22, 46, 83, 60, 63 point, okay, 63.9 and 64. This is better. Oh man, that is better, all right. Well, we're putting, we're not getting rid of that. Tactical light, not as good. Store. It's, yeah, I mean, I'll just get rid of this thing here then. A little more weight. Okay. All right. Well, see you later, piss hard in 10 millimeter. You served me well, but now you're a piece of shit from my past. Just like middle school. <laughs> um, tab. Let's rename it. I want to kind of keep up these good practices here. Uh, I can't rename it. I got to go to a, a thing. Oh, that's what I got. I got to put it in my favorites. Q. Tactical pipe pistol. There we go. Okay, so that's the four button. I like my rifle. This thing. Oh, what? Nice, man. Look at that thing. We're going to be jacking some bitches, aren't we? Okay, cool. Speaking of bitches, let's go fuck up these bloat flies. Where'd they go? Where are you at, bitches? Where are you at, bitch flies? Come over here. Oh, there he is. I'm gonna get cornered. I'm gonna run up on him. Ha! 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 <laughs> oh boy, this is probably not not that wise of a move. All right, hit him. Oh, I'm getting rads. Oh, that's because I think they're they're jizzing on me. What the fuck? How strong are these things? You kidding me? All right, run away! <laughs> Come on, motherfucker! You know what? Fuck this shit. Could that have not... I mean, I was obviously clearly wasting ammo. That, could, that took away... Ah. I'd like to, like, piece these guys back together like, like the world's grossest Jenga. Yeah, I said it. I said Jenga, not puzzle. Right. Oh, you know what? Sorry. Real, but real quick, I know it's annoying. I gotta get rid of some uh, apparel here at my station. Transfer. That's what I didn't do. That stuff is really eats up your your weight. Um. All right. Casual outfit. Do I need? No, I don't. No. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm gonna get rid of this stupid. Okay. Army helmet. Keep the gas mask for rad resistance. Leather chest piece. Don't think I want this, right? Yep, that took away my something. Trilby hat. Okay, yeah, get rid of this thing. Store tuxedo. Put that away. Summer shorts. Although I didn't even put the tuxedo on to have a fashion show for you guys. Surveyor outfit. Welding goggles. I thought it said wedding goggles. I was like, God, how much jizzing are you planning on doing? Um, no, I can't put on the welding goggles. Okay. Yeah, this is my one legendary item. Check that out. I think, right? That's that star means. Pretty sweet. Fuck yeah, street. I forgot why I did that. Um, probably some stupid impulse like everything I do. All right, good. Let's get back over here. Just make sure. Nope, wrong one. Weapons, apparel. This could be just a little more. Oh, it does kind of give you the information. Why is those one? Really? What do I have on that one? Right shoulder. Wow, it is just one, isn't it? That's garbage. All right, well, hey, guys, we're heading out of here real soon in the next video. So, um, yeah, thanks for putting up with uh, my, me being weird. <laughs> uh, yeah, good, good. glad to be recording videos again, and uh, awesome. I'll be um, 
moving on towards the Jose Canseco plant real soon here. But check us out in the next video. Like and subscribe. And I'm glad you're here. Let's keep it going. Bye-bye. Love you.